Yo, 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 yo. What's cracking, everybody? Outlaw here, Dads After Dark. Speaking of what's cracking, I'll tell you what's cracking. That's the top of this brute can on this second rodeo I'm enjoying right now. Second rodeo, you got that right. That's Lost 40, buddy, all day, every day. Let me tell you a little bit about that Lost 40. Tell you how you get some. You can go by their tap room over there at 501 Bird Street, Little Rock, Arkansas, 72202. Walk in with a growler. Let them fill one up fresh off the taps right there at the bar. Check them out on the inner tubes, www.lost40brewing.com. Give them a call, 501-319-7275, or get on the social media. Track them down on the Instagram. Look them up on the Facebook. Whatever you do, just make sure you tell them Dad's After Dark sent you. Get by there today. Hook yourself up with some Lost 40. Bicycle. You're, You're listening, listening to Dads, Dads After Dark on Jetway Radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dads After Dark. You already know. Moms in the morning suck. Blah, blah, blah. Moms in the morning. They talking. It's kind of boring. Bourbon, Velcro, new balances. Got it on my nose. Mickey G, funny packs. That's on me. Blue jean shorts. Yeah. That kind of short. That's after dark. That's after dark. That's after dark. That's after dark. Dark, dark. Hello, hello. Don't Rodney, we're say. coming back in from a break. Is this thing hot? Okay. <laughs> And welcome to Dad's After Dark. It's hour three. Well, second, second hour three. three. Good, Good Lord, Lord. <laughs> I got to go to bed. My, yeah. my insurance <laughs> wearing off. <laughs> welcome to part three of Dad's After Dark on a Wednesday night. I'm your host, Mikey G. We've got Mr. Back Bacon, Dylan Johnson. Oi, oi. Smokestack, Rodney Lewis. Okay. The outlaw, Shane Creator. What's crack and lacking? Thanks for hanging in there with us. We know you got better things to do. No, you don't. No. What quit, you, what quit, playing, you quit playing. Quit playing. Quit playing, boy. Lay it down. I mean, it's either this or the news, so... Well, yeah, and we, you, we can tell you what's happening on it. Right. Not bunch, of, bunch, of, bunch of lies. Hey, I'll tell you what is happening. Butt toots and lies. Texas said the heck with everybody else. They opened the floodgates. They That's said, we're operating. Mean, we own 100%. percent <clears throat> Well, boys, I got an idea for this last segment. Well, you, well, Let's I hope hear it's it. better than your last one. <laughs> no, that last, last one was so awesome, hard. dude. <laughs> I'm not sure. That we last can air one it. went hard. I hope y'all recorded that because we can't air it. <laughs> <laughs> We're definitely going to have to do away with it. Don't that. make Rodney go back to last week and watch it. <laughs> hey, I'm looking. We all that. got the same shirts on. <laughs> I was confused. Uh, my wife sent me an article. It says the CDC has tips for surviving a zombie apocalypse. Oh, no, seriously. Oh, yeah. This is nice. uh, thanks to what? THV 11. I did seen it, but I didn't read it. THV 11 put this out? <laughs> yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Are they trying to tell Weak. us something, man? Before we dive into that, before we dive into the article and we see what the CDC's tips are for surviving as What does that even mean? CDC? Center yeah. for Disease Control. Oh, see, screw them. <laughs> they, they will, <laughs> speaking of them, they will not quit calling me about immunization of my child. And I'm like, look, dude, I'm not. Not We're doing. not gonna yeah. tell you. Yeah, like you should well, can immunize. I, can I get their name? Mm. Can I get this? Can their date of birth? And they, where you at? Where'd you get them in that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I couldn't spell it all the way. Out, That's but, worse than ordinary. <laughs> yeah, dude. I talked to him for I, the chick was like, I just need ten minutes of time. I said, Well, go talk fast. <laughs> <laughs> and dude, at the twelve minute mark, I said, Look, I'm not trying to be rude, but my gosh, let's move on. And she's like, Well, I have to read it. Verbatim or whatever. Verbatim. Ver. Whatever the hell it's Ver. called. I don't know. Hell I, I don't care, but I was like, okay, well, I'm over this. And she's like, well, we'll send you $10 for this time. And I All said, right, I'm in. I'm saying, good <laughs> Lord, at this rate, I'm making about a quarter an hour. You son of guns better come on. Well, before we dive into the CDC's uh, recommendations they for suck. surviving a zombie apocalypse, what do you guys think? What, what, what I'm you, ready. What do, what do you think? It, <laughs> I would ask. Uh, 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 sorry. <laughs> what, what guidelines do you think you would need 
to survive a zombie not apocalypse. much dude. Whiskey. There, have you ever seen them on they're so slow dude you could they're we stupid could, i could pop pop, pop slap in the face a couple times back up i'll release steps, my get I, get my cock fight. i was, I'll release my cock with a sword and it's gone dude the roosters yeah. will travel oh, yeah. you gotta stab them in Man, the, i, I in hope the you guys temple, enjoy our last show ever <laughs> this is talking about roosters you did roosters. this well yeah the cock fighting that's what i'm talking about yeah but without content it just sounds like we're saying what is the daggum? Oh, what, what is our answer bad. supposed to be? What about what about the, the zombies? Like, oh, just it, what? what like, how do you do think I need, you should survive? Do I need band aids or am I talking about just shooting them? And, and yeah, you and, can do whatever you want. I think I'm gonna drink whiskey, eat some steak, and put my, get my shotgun out. Nah, you what can't, happens you, when you run out of steak? You can't cook meat. You eat tonight. a zombie. I eat a zombie. <laughs> you can't <laughs> cook meat. You can't cook meat. Not during a zombie apocalypse. Can't cook meat at night because they'll be on you. Yep. So, am I supposed to hide from them? No. Uh, during the day, no. But at night, you need to take shelter. So, zombies aren't out during the day? Sometimes. It depends I on, what, that it depends on what species. Those are vampires. No, it depends on what species of zombies they are. Space, there's different species of yeah, zombies? Yeah, dude. There's this different is species of zombies. to me right yeah. now. There ain't neither. There ain't They're just neither. walking around dead. There's the day walkers. There's the crawlers. Well, they go to bed at night, and the yeah. night walkers come <laughs> they're, out? They're typically a nine-to-five zombie. <laughs> <laughs> so how much does this job pay? Hold on. Nine to five zombie. Band name called it. <laughs> I, I'm going to sing Dolly Parton songs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. There's day walkers, night walkers, mid mid morning walkers. Sleep walkers. That's like the damn uh, the old folk home up there. <laughs> day, day walkers, night yep. walkers. You got to better call and get your time. He's got his medicine mixed up. He's a night walker now. <laughs> <laughs> but no, man. I mean, if if it were me, <laughs> you're right there, gloves. <laughs> <laughs> they don't make any sense. <laughs> if it Sorry. were me, if it were me, I wouldn't be cooking meat at night. That's that's just me, though. Not even bacon. My no, wife, my, my wife bacon. wants to know if you can eat a zombie, or does that turn you into a zombie? I was gonna. That was my. I was gonna say. Not if you that. cook it to a medium. <laughs> <laughs> I like my over there. That's like, about 135 degrees internal temp. In I case like my zombie wondering. a little bloody. Yeah, I like Hot mine a little bloody. Center. You cut his horns off, run him by the grill, put him on my plate. Yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, put him in the smoker. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> speaking of that, I'm going to Texas to to cook a steak here. A zombie uh, steak. I don't think so. I hope not. Next week, but now that it's open wide up, I'm gonna be <laughs> be running around like crazy. Yeah. But so my question is, I mean, all right, have you ever watched the show uh, Walking Dead? No, besides Walking Dead, what uh, the, what is it the uh, the ones with the that have uh, the bunkers? Excuse me. What the bunkers? Zombies? No, the bunkers? people that like uh, preparing for the apocalypse. What is that so called? Oh yeah yeah yeah. Doomsday, uh, preppers. doomsday preppers. Yeah doomsday yeah. preppers. Yeah. So, do you, I, I know this is a serious question because I've actually known some people who do this. I bet it's not. <laughs> I bet we can turn it into something else. <laughs> I've actually, I've actually known somebody, and I'll leave their name out of it, who had a doomsday shelter with like a crap ton of canned goods and water. Is there spam, something wrong with that? Spam and, and ammo, like crazy. Is is that a bad thing? No, I don't know. That it's a bad thing. I just is it necessary? I mean. I mean, worst you got to be prepared for everything. Worst think, case scenario, I mean. you got a really cool bunker. <laughs> Best case scenario, guess what? Guess who's thriving in the zombie apocalypse? That is true. I mean, that, that's, that's a good point. I got a bug out bag. I'll be honest. I got a bug out bag, dude. I got some fire starters in there. I got like a legit trauma kit. Uh, I got this gnarly hatchet. Uh, Why do a, you have one? And a couple other. It's he, like a fire extinguisher. You got one. <laughs> Why do you have a fire extinguisher? <laughs> Insurance on your car. Yeah. Okay. I, it's it's. Like, I'd rather have it, not need it, than need it, not have it. That's all I'm saying. Somebody said on the zombies that you have runners, ghouls, and crawlers. See the crawlers. Yeah. Where do they come out? <laughs> <laughs> I need day, night, midday. They're more. They're more of a ten to eight kind of zombie. Somebody's gonna have to give me their damn schedules. <laughs> well, you can work on that schedule, can't you? I'm not. He's reading. He ain't even listening to <laughs> no, what you said, dude. That right. dude was bugged out right there. All right. So, all right. It says, okay, um, let's start with the extremely unlikely zombie apocalypse theory. Uh, the prediction has all, all, all the internet recently. It originates from a 16th century French astrologer named wow. Nostradamus. Hey, he that saw it coming. That <laughs> dude I bet he had um, some stuff to say. It says the book is filled with uh, mystifying poems. And uh, quatrains. 
which have been linked to the death of kings, the rise of dictators, blah, blah, blah. I just want to get to the, their guidelines. The good stuff. Okay. The, CD, the CDC says in your emergency kit, you should include water. Done. One gallon per person per day. God. Well, it's going to be me, so I'm cool. Get a light <laughs> straw. None of y'all are invited. Right. No, it's certified. Yeah, there's water everywhere. Yep. Yeah, but if there's zombies out and about. I ain't worried about them. You can't get, go down to the family market. Dude, that's that's no. He's going to be cooking steak at noon, man. He so what's the water? It. For survival or to kill a zombie? To well, survive. Probably to drink. I think to water your plants. All right, it says food. Yeah, water your, your tenderloin plants. Your tenderloin plants. <laughs> Gotta have those. <laughs> food. Stock up on non-perishable items that you can eat regularly. Ramen noodles. That, yeah, I don't Spam. think that's so bad. Spam. Mm. Twinkies. Stuff posing as meat. Vienna sausage. <laughs> spam. I tell you what, in a zombie apocalypse, you'd be thrilled to have spam. <laughs> yeah. I'm not worried about it. All right, medications. This includes your prescription and non-prescription meds. <laughs> there you go. I just got I a call. How, how many? I mean, but how 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 long can you stock up on your meds? So you Glover, can't buy them in advance, can you? Glover, play that voicemail that you just got from the CVS pharmacy about your uh, your medications that you were just talking about that you needed for that. What? What? <laughs> the, the, we'll just turn up the the that, mic. No, he he got a voicemail. Here, I'll play it. I got his phone right here. Oh. Hi, this is Kelly calling from the CVS Pharmacy. I'd just like to let you know that your anal wart removal cream, your buckle, you need to stock up on that. Are now in. Dude, hell yeah. Extra small condoms that you needed. So please go ahead and let me know when you'll be coming in so I can set those aside. This is survival kit. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> the Mikey, the Michael Glover bug out bag. I'm telling you, man. Anal wart cream and Viagra. <laughs> wow. Ooh, get her done. All right, you need tools and supplies, utility knife, duct tape, powered radio, battery-powered radio, <laughs> sanitation and hygiene, household bleach. Who's going to be on the damn radio when there's an apocalypse going on? Talk about, hey, man, I had, I got made it into work Dad, today. Yeah, Dark will be the last show standing. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. Sure. How big of a bug out bag do you need? For it to carry all this. Oh, it sounds like a big one. It sounds like you need a bunker. It's like, yeah. Yeah, you got to have a bunker and store it, man. You got you to gotta be pre- prepared. We need, a, we need a dad bunker. We got one. Was it going to say on the door, like, no girls allowed and stuff? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like a fort. Because I'm in if that's in. I, I, we'll do the, we can slice our hands right now and shake them. What, bro? The wolf gang. <laughs> Is that? Oh, the wolf pack. The wolf pack for, for life. So... But it also says you need clothing and bedding, a change of clothes for each family member, and blankets. You're not going to be able to shower. Who cares? Keep the same damn clothes the on. First aid supplies, say? important documents, <clears throat> copies of your driver's license. Who Who cares? Cares? You're, You're not going to drive gloves. anywhere. Where are you going to go? You're Just hauling ass. Where are you going? You're trying to get to your mom's house because the zombie's chasing you and you get pulled over. Yeah, by a zombie cop. Right, yeah. <laughs> Shucks, I knew I shouldn't have stopped. <laughs> All right, the agency says you should plan emergency, uh, emergency plan by doing the following. Identify the types of emergencies that are possible in your area. Besides the zombie apocalypse, this may include floods, tornadoes, earthquakes. I thought those would go away. I bet when they the- made this crap up during the snowstorm while this they were locked stupid. down. It's very stupid. Pick a pick a meeting place for your family to regroup in case zombies invade your home. Go to the tree next to the neighbor's house. Make or sure. in case evacuate evacuate because of a hurricane. Ugh. Come on, man. I thought this was a zombie list. This is stupid. <laughs> it's it's intriguing to me that the CDC even acknowledges zombies. This is what they spent their damn time on. Yeah, but why? This is where my tax dollars Snowstorm. are at. We got a darn, we got a pandemic going. All These right. some bitches are telling us how we should run away from zombies. <laughs> Somebody was on quarantine, man. Just that it's like, really? John, this is my what wife, you did with your time? My wife said this sounds more like a natural disaster preparation, not zombie apocalypse. <laughs> right. Man, yeah. they almost snuck that one by us. Man, I mean, they're telling us that, they're telling us what? that for a reason. I'm just saying. To hell with them. We're going to create our own dad list. I that. think somebody. Oh yeah, we got it. Dude. All right, number one, <clears throat> Kraken. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, and Pepsi. <laughs> yeah, because you should always take pirates to a zombie party. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a hell of a fight. <laughs> hey, her. They'd ward yeah. them off for a little bit. Yeah. All yeah, right. I'd sit back. Item number two, ammunition. Yeah, we got that. Huh? I mean, it goes without saying. Yes, sir. I'm not a gun person, man, but I've got a big freaking, uh, what's the big handle with the blade on the Oh, board? you're talking about slingshot. Kaiser blade. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were talking about slingshot. <laughs> uh, and, I, you know, Ben's pretty good with the bow and arrow, so. Hey, there you go. That would be a really good weapon to have during a zombie it apocalypse. Would be. You, gotta, you do not make a lot of noise. Right. you got to make sure that can you they tie a string to it so when you shoot them, you can pull your arrow back. Oh, that's a good idea. Head it all like the whole egg. Or drag the already dead zombies trying to attack you back to you. 
Hey, that'd be cool. Yeah. <laughs> that way you can chop the rest of his head off. All right. So you got to have ammunition. You got to have a weapon. Uh, what else we need? Beer. Food. You got to have food. Yeah, you got to have food. <clears throat> Red meat. Okay. You got to have somewhere to cook it. That is true. So you need a grill. Or a fire. And you're going to die for from grilling inside your bunker. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, he tried to make it, but. Yeah, he, he even he he died, but the steaks are ruined too. What a jerk! <laughs> so so, can you not go out in the daytime and cook, and then just, no, they have the day. Walk. I would assume you. I would assume it'd be safer to cook <clears throat> cook it cook during the day than at night, because I would I just picture zombies to be more nocturnal than. That's um, why you need jerky. Hey, lots hey. and lots and lots of Gotta jerky. Gotta have jerky. Turkey jerky too. No, hey. that's not even really jerky. Turkey jerky is good. Come on, dude. Did what? you get that at Bucky's? No. Jerk. <laughs> uh, who's it? Charlotte, she asked if Gorilla Glue is on the list. Need gorilla, uh, duct tape for sure. Like, lots I'm and lots of I'm not planning on duct taping these son of a gun. I just don't know what I'm trying to accomplish. Like, it might survive. I mean, we're not trying to make it from here can they climb to hills? freaking Benton from here. Huh? Can they, they climb hills? Can they climb hills? I'm I mean, sure. they got legs. Yeah. Ish. Yeah, kind of. Some of them have legs. Well, I would assume, yeah, I, let's, yeah, I would assume they could. I would go up to a high point, though. So you could just I, see them coming? Right. Yeah. That, and they're slower than... Alvy says they're blind at night. How does he know this? What Dude, if they're, they're zombies with night vision goggles? <laughs> zombie goggles? <laughs> yeah. Zombie goggles. Night so, so they're blind at night. I ain't scared no more. Yeah, well. I need to go do some research before I comment. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that'll make for some great radio. I'm not worried about them. The comment or the research? The research. <laughs> He's like, guys, I'll be back. Give me about 45 minutes. Shit. Man. I mean, that a few days. <laughs> <laughs> Zombies ain't real, man. Just like all that other. No, junk. dude. The so closest, what, else goes, what else goes in our bunker? Hey, I almost, I almost seen a zombie apocalypse, man. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> This is intriguing. <laughs> yeah. I and mean, when did this event occur? Dagum, Please continue. Dagum, yeah. Dagum cell service went down, man. You should say all the people at the mall couldn't get on their damn phones. Oh, God. Freaked out, man. It was like <laughs> walking into walls. Turn left. Yeah, the day walkers. Right, yeah. <laughs> there you they, go. See, that was it. There we go. Yeah. I knew it. You got crawlers and what, hoppers and what was the other one? Hopper? Hoppers? If some bitches are hopping, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Zombie frogs. I mean, yeah, I'm know. done. <laughs> I would what, say that what next in our bunker, huh? I'd say that you need some sort of well, two, uh, uh, like a, a small, really sharp hatchet and a portable shovel, like not a portable shovel, but like well, a collapsible. Most, <laughs> <shovel. laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Portable. Why did I buy this shovel that's not portable? Damn this stationary <laughs> shovel! <laughs> this God. is gonna be the death of me. This who decided to get this three hundred pound shovel? I can't carry everywhere. What with an me. idiot! <laughs> There's your new band name: Portable, portable Shovel. Oh my God! <laughs> All right, try again. You're about as useless so as just a portable a shovel. shovel. I'm getting a couple cases of Twisted Tea just in case it really works. Oh yeah, no, yeah. there's got to be alcohol down there. No, oh, yeah, but no, like one of those uh, one of those uh, survival shovels. Like just you a can little break mini it down. Ones. You yeah. can. You oh, can yeah, put yeah, an yeah, angle yeah. and utility make, shovel. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's got the fire starter in it. That's Port, not a bad idea. Portable shovel. Or idiot. <laughs> portable shovel. Who said? Who wrote this? <laughs> My God. We got to get one in mini box that Rodney had the other day. That way we can get away. <laughs> I, man, I thought about it after I left on the little mini bike. I was like, God, I should have got a picture of me on the mini bike, and then that could have been great on the page. But yeah, we did. Let's not do it well. right now. I don't have it. Oh. Um, I mean, it's at home. I can go grab it and ride back. It'll be about. <laughs> 35, 40 minutes. It's five minutes down It only road. goes 29 miles an hour with my big ass on it. <laughs> That's funny. What? Definitely got to have a mini bike. Alvi says, yeah. says zombies poop. They also pee. What? How, how would he even know? What? Well, I mean, if they eat the human flesh, they got to dissolve it. They got to get rid of it somehow. So they have digestion tracts? I'm sure, but it's zombified. They, what if they're poop? Zombified. <laughs> what color is their poop, Alvi? <laughs> I got to know. Is it like 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 a soylent green or? Well, Becky says that they smell your bo and that, and your sweat. That's how they get you. Well, maybe then you should just what? cook meat all the time. And the then she wants to know where bag. she gets a portable shovel. <laughs> 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 you get it down there at Ace Hardware, man, right there in East End. That's a great place. It's I'm a going. shovel with wheels on it. And I everything. dare, I <laughs> dare you to go in there and ask for a portable shovel. Dude, that'd be like asking for blinker fluid. <laughs> that would be like, 
Uh, <laughs> I'm not real sure, but we got some regular ones over here. Yeah. Oh, are those portable? Never or been asked this. I mean. <laughs> they've been. They've never moved from the shelf. <laughs> Dude, I gotta get video. You go in and ask him for a portable shovel. Dude, right, we can done. do it. Yeah, we can do that's that. That's a segment that's for sure, that's right there. For sure, because yeah. the dude's gonna be—he's like, gonna be messed up if they go looking for one. <laughs> that's gonna be awesome. Like, well, I called the headquarters, and uh, yeah, I called. Uh, they're yeah. trying to find one right now. I got a part number right here if that'll help. <laughs> yeah, I mean, cool. <laughs> yeah, we should call. We should. Well, we can't do it now because it's it's their problem. Yeah. Walmart's open. When I was riding on oh, the yellow God. yellow fire trucks, we were doing inspections and maintenance on the vehicles in Dagum. We sent one of the guys over to check the blinker fluid, mm. and he spent about twenty minutes looking for it. Oh no! I can't oh, yeah, find yeah. the blinker fluid. <clears throat> the best thing to do is you get a guy go look for some wire stretcher or something. This wire <laughs> ain't long enough, man. You get <clears throat> go get me a wire stretcher. It's in the back of the truck over there. Just so that's something to spend twenty minutes over. There. Not to not or, or to take away from the funniness. But Uh-oh. go Google portable shovel, and it is exactly what he said it was. Nah. 100%. Nah. One, but it can't be called portable shovel. But it's not called a portable shovel. No, because nothing's you, called a freaking portable if shovel. You Every Google, shovel is portable. That one right there. If you Google portable shovel. Yeah, but it says folding shovel. Right. But if you Google portable shovel. Portable Sorry, shovel. Man. I messed up. That's funny. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm retarded. <laughs> I tried to tell you. I just wanted to see. I'm not real possible. sure. All right. So in our dad bunker for the zombie apocalypse. Obviously, we need deodorant. Yeah, obviously. They said they're going to smell your B.O. Portable okay. shovels. Um, we need stuff to take showers at some point. You ain't going to take a damn shower. Freaking zombies after you. Who cares? I mean, you ain't going to drink a gallon of water today. You can't no, waste you the can't. water. Yeah, that's true. You shower with your pee, I guess. <laughs> no. I think there's a term for that. You can't. You can use. You can use your own pee, but you cannot use your friends because you get sick on that. I thought that I've was, seen that on Bear Grylls. I thought that was your shit. <laughs> whatever that show was. Bear Grylls. Oh, uh, man versus wild. Man versus wild. Dude, he he found him a snake skin out he there did, in the he desert, did it. and he peed in it. He said, <laughs> "There's like an echo in here." <laughs> but, last week's but, show. Uh, he did. He he found a snake skin. He peed in it, and he he said that. Yeah. He said, "Dude, it's okay if you drink your own pee, but if you drink your friend's pee, which is very disturbing, why we even?" <laughs> it's like, "Hey man, I'm thirsty. You got any pee?" <laughs> but I got some drink, I got a You know what? As long as you don't get it straight from the tap, I think it's okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh man, I thought that was the survival show. <laughs> yeah, gloves. Yeah. <laughs> and this week's segment is now called "Straight from the Tap." Straight from the Tap. Straight from Zombie the Zombie Apocalypse. Straight from the Tap. There oh, you go. Shit. Oh man, that's what he said though. Drink your own pee, not your friend's pee. <laughs> I thought that was thought that was boogers. Eat your own boogers. Not your that boogers. I don't. That's, I thought that was that safety straw. I thought that was that. That's what that was for. Yeah, the life straw. The yeah. drink. Your, drink other people's pee. <laughs> I'd try water first. But. <laughs> that's just me. You gotta man. filter it. You gotta yeah. filter. Well, they make like the little iodine tablets, but I wonder if that would make your pee safer. What the hell are you gonna? You just gonna have them in your pocket? Yeah, you don't buy them at Bass Pro Shop. You're in the you middle can... of a damn desert. Like I thought. If you got a bug out bag. Pills. I didn't get damn. I forgot my iodine pills. That was what I was going to put in there to waste up space. But also in the dad bunker, though. I mean, you're, I mean, let's assume you're not going out in the zombie apocalypse. You're just in bunker down. How long does it last? Until they're all gone. <laughs> <laughs> or you? It's a great question. <laughs> yeah. But uh, you got to have something to entertain yourself. You got to pass the time, dude. Imagine how long that would. You really want me to answer this? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Well, you gotta have something in bunch there. Bunch of magazines. Because we can't play on our damn phone. We're not gonna have internet service. You won't be able to charge it. At some point, there's got electricity, dude. At some point, the power grids are gonna go down. I have a. Uh, we got solar panels. Called? Solar panels. Yeah, we I got, got a couple of, of them. I put up there. Okay. They make they make foldable ones that you could stick. I don't know. They're in portable the bag. What are, you, what are you gonna do? Play on your phone and talk to other people during the zombie internet apocalypse? Internet down. You could just send them a message like, hey, dude, have you seen any day walkers? <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude, are you still alive? Your phone's going to be dead. You are know, you at some point, poop? somebody will create like a zombie app that will show you where all the zombies are at at one oh, point. Oh, yeah. No, it's like, like, oh, hey, guys, we're cool. We got about 12 miles. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the restaurant thing. You're like, yeah. oh, yeah, hell, there's one six miles from here. <laughs> 
I'm one, sure Uber. Hurry up and cook that damn steak. I'm, I'm sure smell U- it. Uber Eats will still be a thing, so you can get oh, that'd be get fine. pizza delivered. It'd be fine. Yeah. Oh, that's not such a bad zombie apocalypse. Then, yeah, I mean. I'm kind of enjoying this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you like don't have really to good. interact with people. You don't have to go to work. You, you just sit in your bunker and eat play pizza? on your phone and eat pizza. I guarantee in zombie apocalypse, my boss I would mean, still text me and say, "Hey, you coming in? We'll all come out like four fifty <laughs> plus." Yeah, it'd be all right. It'd be okay though. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you got to have food, water. And I'd say entertainment. Alcohol. you got to have something to entertain yourself because you're going to go. That's what the alcohol is for. Yeah. <laughs> and, the me, and the portable shovel. And the portable shovel. All four of us are very entertaining when we get a little bit. you gotta have a, you got to have some hog legs with you. I mean, Oh, yeah. Some tenderloins or stuff. So. Pork tenderloins. But it goes back to the whole adage, though. I mean, uh, yes, yeah, so we'll have the kids with us and, yeah. Nah, it's good. If you had to <laughs> sacrifice somebody, you would <laughs> sacrifice them. It's like, come on, man. You'll keep them occupied for at least 30 minutes. The old, it goes back to the old adage. Like, have you ever watched that show, um, uh, what's it, Alone or whatever? It was on History Channel where they would drop no. people off in the wilderness and they were just by themselves. That's whoever, naked and afraid. <laughs> but whoever could last the longest won the tournament or whatever. Yeah. That was naked and afraid. Dude. But it wasn't anything. They got all bit they, by all mosquitoes they had to do was and caught all kind yeah. of stuff. They almost died. I saw that shit. But Watch imagine out. being by your, by yourself for that long of a period. Even if you have the wife and the kids. I mean, how long? You, I mean, I'd go stir crazy. I'd be like, "Come on, come get me, come get me." <laughs> yeah, where are you going? I'm done. Just walk out of the bunker. <laughs> Lock it behind me. Yeah, I'm not coming back. Dad, no, I'm out. <laughs> I'm risking it. Yeah, even if I get away. But you gotta have something to keep your sanity, though. You gotta have something to entertain. Hmm. That's where the hatchet comes in handy. You go cut down trees and you chop you chop up a little wood. <laughs> well, you can bury it with your portable shovel and try to figure out what it is. And whenever you get it back, you can just whittle wood. I'll be just so you're going to whittle hole. all day long is what you're saying? I mean, if that's all I had to do, probably. I'll be went down a rabbit hole. Uh-oh. What did he say? Yeah, he was talking about the poop is normal. <laughs> it's a really? normal color. Um, they've got to, uh, let's see, they would have to be able to They got two buttholes? After a certain point of decay... They have they have to be able to process the fluid. And then he was like, I cannot believe how much stuff there is on this. Oh, wow. he's a Googling machine right now. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, he's... Mm-mm-mm. So we're going to have to dodge zombies and zombie poop. Yeah. They said... Would zombie poop contaminate We would need wonder? board games, cards, dice, books, and lots of tequila. Hey. Tequila with the worm? That dun, sounds like dun, a dun, normal dun, Saturday dun, night. Dun. Moscow. Hey, yeah, dude. I love to get drunk on tequila and try to read. It's fun. <laughs> he just asked for some more beef. <laughs> Huh? Rodney just asked for some more beef. Want some more beef? He said Moscow. <laughs> Moscow. <laughs> Moss. 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 City Moss. Damn. That's a good one. Yeah, I just, I mean. I, I don't know. You'd have to think about that for a minute. I mean, you're going to, like we said, you're going to throw some throw some stuff that non-perishable stuff. You got spam. Boy or it D. can last 19 years. Corn. Yeah. You got. Ramen noodles or Roman, however the hell y'all it's want to Raymond. say them. Ramen. It's Ramen. I say Ramen. Well, that's stupid. So you say Roman. He says Raymond. No, I said Raymond. Raymond noodles. Raymond. I say Ramen. Everybody Ramen's Raymond. stupid. And then, uh, <laughs> I mean, just your, yeah, I don't know. Hell, you just oh, my kids will get mad because they're not having mac and cheese every damn night. Oh, yeah, well. Oh, you that stuff will last too. Here's a zombie slab of here's a tri tip zombie or starve. <laughs> are we gonna have like like a fridge for leftovers and stuff, or we gotta eat it all at once? No, you gotta smoke your meat that way it lasts longer. That is true. Yeah, pork tenderloins. Pork tenderloins. Yeah, yeah. I smoke the hell out of them. <laughs> Damn straight. Make sure you got a lot of papers too. Then you go through the water. Yeah. And then you're like, shit, that was six days of water you just drank in an hour and a half. No, and my kids, they would drink half of it and leave it sitting around for the rest, oh, yeah. no. <laughs> the rest of the time. Yeah. I could survive off of their half drink bottles. They would, dude. They would, they would open up like a thousand little half bottles and just leave them sitting around. Yeah, my fridge. That's all they do. <laughs> Fair. My fridge. Yeah. Uh, well, what, so, what is other people? What are y'all going to put in y'all's uh, what's gonna, bunker? What's going to be in your bunker? Mm. What, what are you going to put in your bunker? <laughs> <laughs> The way you said it. What are you going to put in your bunker put in with your bunker. Rodney Lewis? <laughs> There's another. Here, here's the next segment. What's going in your here's bunker? Here's autobiography. What are yeah. you going to put in your bunker? What's going in your bunker? <laughs> Narrated by. Is the bunker Rodney only Lewis. have a front door or back? <laughs> That's oh a good question. God. That's a legit question. That is a legit because question. Because then you have to guard two. It needs to be points. one way in, one way out. Okay, we're in. I'm done. Because yeah. the rest of it should be buried. Yeah. I was going to say, be like an eighteen wheeler. Does, it, does it have to be underground for it to be considered a bunker? Or can well, it be? the the safety part is the underground because they yeah. they can't come 
through your bunker. They're Somebody, not going to they dig. go over your bunker. They don't know what I don't portable give a damn. Go over are. it all you want. <laughs> There's nothing over on the other but side. But you got to have like oxygen holes or whatnot for air to flow. Nah. What, if they, what if they pee in that with their zombie poop and their nah. zombie pee? No, nah. they got flappers on them, man. That's one way. Yeah. The whirly birds. Yeah, I've watched that show. But what if they poop outside of it? It's um, gonna, they're not going to just drop a poop down your vent pipe. No. It serves no purpose. <laughs> that is a good good deal. Because they could do that. Yeah, they could. Like, I know how to run these out here. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, he did it again. <laughs> he did. Watch this. <laughs> That'd be oh, like man. a good King of the Hill episode. <laughs> I'll, t- I'll tell you what. I'll run them out of their bunker. You yeah, can't bury the whole thing. Just yeah. a portion of it. Do and it then again, have your, it again. I'll tell you what. I'll run them out of their bunkers right now. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, That's exactly how I imagine them talking <laughs> to each other. Damn it, Bobby, come on here. Like, come on, come on, down, down with all the zombies, man. I'm all pooping them on my pipe or something, man. Come on now. God. <laughs> then we get some propane on there, put that little propane back in there and blow that poop right back into that little pipe. That's my purse. Oh, my God. I'm not sure what, what all we would have in there because it'd be just a random assortment well i know i'd have a whole bunch of second rodeo in that there. second rodeo up in there we'd have to have our recording here. we'd have, we'd have to have yeah let's do, we just do the show i mean we, we don't have <laughs> that'd be fine yeah like hey one of them's trying to get in again <laughs> <laughs> somebody go answer that <laughs> oh up top, Alvin, boys. go kill him <laughs> <laughs> damn what are you here for you haven't contributed dude i can just see the show we've got the four of us and then we've got zombie alvy like tied up in a chair over in the corner no, zombie <laughs> alvy's gone right now he was just like y'all have completely lost me to this old zombie thing <laughs> he's he backed out of the show to go google more zombie stuff Becky, goes, tell us what you're gonna put in your bunker she's like gotta answer <laughs> yeah i'm not quite sure how to answer what are you putting in your there's bunker? old landon Hey, I bet he's got a bunker got, prepared. Uh, he's got. Uh, he might. Yeah, he's got an arsenal. I'll give you that. Well, <laughs> he's Boy's got, got one part. Arsenal. Yeah, he's got that down. He's ready, huh? Yes, sir. Landon, we're talking about what you're gonna put in your bunker on this. Uh, <laughs> what is this zombie <laughs> zombie apocalypse episode? It's a zombie bunker. Don't take that the wrong way. He's gonna put some chocolate pies in that bunker and some of them <laughs> damn king cakes with the babies in them. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna get this big like, wow, I got the baby in here. <laughs> it's like <laughs> throw it at a zombie. Dude. Yeah, what are you, where are you going to go? There's no king cake shops open on uh, Zombie Apocalypse. No, day. but they should have the baby cakes with the kings in them. Yeah, that's, those are nice. Mm. Dude, we should come out with like a zombie repellent spray because you know we could sell the hell out of it. It won't work, but we could sell it. Watch it be like... It's like bear spray. I mean, really, you're going to scare off a bear with a can like, of spray? Watch you getting, like, uh, if you're oh, getting close enough to spray a damn bear with anything, then that's your own fault. Yeah, that's about your only hope. <laughs> yeah, so if... I think there's a helicopter landing outside. Just kicked off. Huh. What are uh, we compressing? I, I, he confused me. Like I thought there was like zombies banging on the door or something. <laughs> there you go. Why'd you go to bed tonight? <laughs> there you go. Yeah, just just you got to get your like you said, water, ammo. I think food. You, I think you need activities. I think you need things to keep your sanity. I mean, presumably, I did you, like the board game. I did. presumably you could be down there for like a year. Or plus. Okay, so you go, you're not going to take a year's worth of crap down there. You're going to play the same puzzle every day? <laughs> hey, I beat it. What the hell? you got to have air compressor in there. <laughs> that blows. <laughs> it's like, hey, I, I, I worked this puzzle record time. Yeah. Well, who thought well you did it yesterday, too. What if you learned? Oh, it'd have to be board games that you could play, like, like checkers and... Like uh, oh, I play Connect Four with the kids. They get so pissed Monopoly. Off they hell, get... that lasts four or five days, doesn't it? Yeah. Kids get ticked off. Yeah, dude, the kids get ticked off. They can't beat me in Connect Four. So, so I, yeah. I take that one. My kids can't beat me at Tic Tac Toe. I let like mine win. The double. I don't. Hey, Becky said hairspray and lighter. That's a zombie repellent. Oh yeah, no, that, that's definitely... a good mosquito repellent. Hey, you too. have a flamethrower. Yes, I do. Hey. Yeah. Did you bust it out when the snow was going? I did. I did. I melted. Was it gratifying? It was all right. It wasn't as cool as you thought it would be, but because I, <laughs> I talked about, it, I was like, man, I need one. Yeah, because no, of this, cool, man. Yeah, they're cool. I um like melt the driveway off. And I've got a little small go. one. I got one that's like uh, you know the little thin one. I got the <laughs> wait. Never mind. I got the big. One. <laughs> yeah, that's what I heard too. <laughs> I'll be sharing all kinds of stuff. He's got eBay stuff going up, so he I think he can get us a, a whole survival kit or something. Hey, you can buy bug out bags like on Amazon, man. We're sorry if y'all hear a lot of noise. I think Shane's preparing. Yeah. Yeah. I like just found my bunker box. Band name called it. Uh, he bunker has a white bunker. flag. All he has to do is just go, I'm done. Yeah, don't bother me, please. Bunker box. I like that one. Yeah. That's the boxes we should start sending out to people. 
Jane, we, for thirty five dollars, what's in your bunker box? Bunker it's box. gonna have like three and a half dollars worth of stuff in it. <laughs> You'll have a sticker in there. There'll be a sticker. <laughs> what am I gonna and, do with uh, this? Paper cut them? <laughs> no, you just slap it on their face. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just one. Well, you you have to wait till they die and get it back. So this is my question: Do zombies see you? Do they hear you? Or do they How smell they you? They're blind, blind at night. They probably smell you. Oh, so, I, I guarantee they smell you. Hence, why I wouldn't be cooking up a lot of meat. Well, that ain't me. Oh, they say you smell your bo. So That's me. I though. know what you do. You take a propane tank and set it on the other side of the property and just crack it open. Just crack it slowly, and they go over to it. Well, and you're then sitting you, back eating a ribeye. Yeah, and then you shoot them up with the daggum shotgun full of ammunition, <laughs> and then you eat your steak, and drink <laughs> your beer. I don't know. He's, he's okay. got to figure it out. You go hit him over the head with that portable shovel. I'm not worried about it. I'm not going to build a bunker. I'm not going to worry about them. And <laughs> no, because at the end whatever. of the day, you only got to outrun your friend, not the zombie. Yeah, that's true. So, oh wait, maybe they're not your friend. I'll, <laughs> I, I call Glover for the zombie apocalypse. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to get eaten. He thinks he can outrun you. <laughs> I probably can't. I'm a horrible runner. I'm a horrible runner. <laughs> I've I'm never been good at running. I, no. I, I tell my wife, I'm, I'm as fast as I need to be. Yeah. Right. That's it. Yep. <laughs> Every 30 seconds. <laughs> oh, my oh. God. <laughs> Band name called it. I'm salary, not hourly. All right. <laughs> get her done. Wow. All right, I think it's a good place to end this. <laughs> Before we get in trouble. What he said. Guys, thanks for tuning into the show. If you're interested in buying a Dad's After Dark sticker, uh, send, us a, send us a message, give us your details, give us your money, and we'll get you one. Alvy will bring it to you personally. Doesn't matter where you're at. It's we'll deliver it if you got food, though. In it's state, out of state, cost. out of the country, whatever. Tell He'll your dad to order one. Yeah. If, if you got food, don't tell Alvy. We'll, we'll bring it. <laughs> and I got quiet. Yeah. All right. I think it's time to end this. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching Dads After Dark. I'm your host, Mikey G. Back bacon, Dylan Johnson. Oi, oi. Smokestack, Randy Lewis. Outlaw, Shane Prieta. <laughs> Bicycle. <laughs> Bye. We'll catch you guys next week. I love you. And like, and, like and share our page, share our videos. Uh, check us out on YouTube. Uh, do all the things. <clears throat> Download a podcast. If you got a bunker, invite us. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll come to your bunker. Yeah, Get all up in your bunker. Oh. Mom's in the morning. Suck. Blah, blah, blah. Mom's in the morning. They talking, it's kind of boring. Verb and Velcro, new balances. Had it on my nose. Mickey G, funny packs, that's on me. Blue jean shorts. Yeah, that kind of short. Dad's after dark. 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 Dad's after dark.